What is up everyone, once again it's Levenji here and welcome back to Warhammer Dark Omen episode 18 and uh, it's a very short in-game cutscene so we'll keep it a very short intro, the mission itself is quite long. That said, let's get this underway. It was good to shed blood at your side again Morgan, now let's shed some more. My men are yours to command. Ready the troops, we march north. Undead hordes on the road ahead. Hack them to pieces. So here we are with mission 18 in a very, very uh, short cutscene. Now, this mission is an interesting one, and you may have seen my uh, magical item setup from the last couple of videos. It's going to be very cavalry focused. We're going to build our own firing line. And this mission introduces to us the new undead unit, the chariot. Chariots are a very interesting and horrible unit in that when they charge, if they are the unit that charges, uh, they deal instant death to your regiment. And this number can be anywhere from as little as one guy to five, sometimes six people from a single charge, and that's before the actual fighting takes place. And the actual unit can fight pretty fiercely as well. Ground firing is going to be particularly important forward. here, and what we're going to do is we're just going to move forward with our Enemy cavalry, sighted. and you can see they have got uh, Banner of Wrath, Horn, forward. and Shield of Tolos, allowing them to move forward safely, and we're going to bait the undead into us. I sir. And then with a very careful and hopefully precise yes, series of ground firing, we're going to take out the chariots before they get the opportunity to charge. I know many of you are thinking, oh no, he's using the cavalry again. Yes, my lord. Yes, I am. That's all I can say to that. Yes, my lord. Uh, hopefully they won't get too many kills. We're going to be pulling several units into the firing line and hopefully everyone will get a piece of the action. Aye, sir. As I mentioned in the previous video, this was sort of the point where I was re-recording all the missions that I'd actually already done. So, the execution on this is a little cleaner than the first time, and uh, I actually forget the post screen because I was still in a bit of a bad mood. So, I'll include the units lost. I don't have the kills, but I'll include a little unit units lost in the description below. And just like that, we got one chariot. It, that was lucky, but that's exactly what you want to do. You want to be giving ground orders and then the hold fire command. Now, there are some skeleton riders here as well, so we're just, we're just being very careful. You want to really be trying to hit them, but uh, I'm focusing on the swordsman because I can get some good hits. And what I was hoping is that the swordsman actually block the... Uh, horsemen for a while and they don't the way the way the units work it didn't work out that way so that was the staff that we got in the previous mission we're just going to be doing a little bit of harassment with the bright wizard Enemy who is now leveled up and can carry two magical items Charge. and that turning out surprised Gage. me a little bit so that's why the uh, Ragnar's wolves are where they are. It's exactly to support the mortar because the mortar is essentially on its own front line. And now we're going to scrap. We're going to get a real good scrap going. You don't need to blow the horn, as I, as I said. The uh, skeletons are not affected by it, but I do just out of sort of a force of habit almost. And I go for, go for a cheeky little ground fire with the uh, with the cannon before the second unit skeletons joins in. So as you can see, all you need to do is deploy in a sort of arc formation, push up with the cavalry, pull everything down into what is essentially a really strong defensive line. There are a lot of cav uh, archers on this mission, as well as siege weaponry. So you have to be very, very careful with how you 
proceed with this mission. If your Bright Wizard has the optimal setup for his spells, you can in fact teleport onto the Screaming uh, Skull Catapult and use that to trigger the next wave of enemies and also take out the uh, Catapult itself. I don't do that because I don't have the uh, correct setup with my magic spells. So, with those units down, we're going to just sort of uh, redeploy into our formation, and we're going to have to use the cavalry to essentially pull out even more victims, for lack of a better word. One thing I did notice is I, I was having trouble getting any of the other soundtracks for the game to play during this playthrough. It's been the same couple of songs. Uh, my favourite song in this entire soundtrack is actually a track called Chase. Now, in the PlayStation version, that plays on the third mission. But uh, I never got it in this entire playthrough. I never got Chase to play even once. I was very upset about it. So, we're currently in the boring window, where we wait for the Necromancer to die. Fortunately, he dies pretty quickly. So, after a long window of silence, you may notice we are now laying assault essentially to the archer units, and we're doing it in a very boring way. Yes, Miller. I didn't particularly want to get tied up into any melee because of reasons you'll soon see. Though I choose to out of pure impatience. Um, you actually need to route one of these archer units or a unit to in trigger further spawns for the rest of this mission. So with the Shield of Tolos, I figured the, uh, the cavalry are the best unit to do this with. They are rank 4, have a really good set of items for doing this, and uh, we're just hoping they don't get hit by the catapult at the same time they wipe out this unit as quickly as possible, which is why we're constantly buffing them as well. And at this point, I'm questioning just how resilient a unit of archers are <laughs> against the Grudgebringer cavalry. If you can find that sometimes, the units are just surprisingly difficult to break. Enemy destroyed. So with that down, we're going to march further upwards. You may notice that one of the units of archers actually um, stopped firing at us and went into retreat. That retreat is to bait you forwards, which is for a very, very obvious reason. Forward. 
Yes, my lad. But, uh, with that in mind, Enemy there you are. Sighted. So Forward. you've got swordsmen, you've got wraiths, and you've got another chariot. Forward. That's that's what the uh, archers are trying to bait Put you into, fire. and will do yes, if lad. you uh, charge. I sir. Enemy sighted. And uh, on top of the chariots, there's a, there's yes, another man. round of horsemen Enemy as well. Sighted. So there's a significant spawn that you end up having to deal with here, and um, we're sir. just going to pull it apart piece by piece. I sir. Which is one of the reasons this mission takes so long. Um, and again, a beautiful shot. They're really not that easy to hit if you target them. I, I, I swear by it, they are not that easy to hit. So, the horsemen are just going to slowly move around, and we're hoping that we can pull Enemy the correct amount. We don't want to pull everything, even Enemy though sighted. we could deal with it, because pulling everything means we're going to have to then fight nice everything. Up. And if everything's already walking towards us with significant gaps, like the horsemen that are much I further see. ahead, then we can deal with units independently. I know there was a concern for how reserved I'm being. Um, it's a force of oh, habit, fire. and if you uh, if you want to see me being super aggressive uh, with no oh, respect fire. for unit preservation whatsoever, oh, just you wait for the next game we're going to be playing in this series. I uh, I won't spoil what it is quite yet. Uh, I'll do that slightly closer to the end of this series. But uh, the next game will be a polar opposite of this one, where unit preservation goes out the window. It's another game from my childhood, and it's going to be it's probably one of my better ones. You might actually see me playing, dare I say it, well for a change. And uh, I'll be looking forward to bringing that to you. I'll welcome any guesses if any of you can uh, think about what it might be. I'll look forward to any guesses. But anyway, we are doing ground fire to inflict damage. There's nothing new here, so give the fire order, give a hold fire command, and the hold fire command just makes sure there's always a shot chambered and they don't just keep firing at the ground that you ordered them to fire at ages ago. So by pushing the wall of flame that far forward, it makes one regiment absolutely stop until they can get around it, and the other regiment slowly maneuver around it instead of them taking damage from it although they do still take a little bit of damage yes, uh, it just it just changed um, changed the way they moved and kept them still for a lot longer which is allowing my uh, my fiery swords of doom to uh, rip the wraiths apart make sure you move the wizard away because those swords can and will friendly fire you want to make sure you cancel that spell if it's continuing and your units are in melee. Two arms. Enemy sighted. So I believe that sword is the Stormfang. It is a magical sword that behaves exactly the same as the Banner of Wrath. Uh, another good item to pick up, and because it's on a skeleton unit that charges you, and skeleton units tend not to run away, it's actually quite an easy unit uh, magical item to get, and most people end up with that. So, because the wraiths charge the ogres and the ogres have got the fiery sword of nope, um, we weren't particularly worried about their ability to uh, deal with anything. 
the ogres would handle that fight easily. There was only one right left by the time the charge came in. So with this line broken, you can now start to push up, and I'm doing so with one thing in my mind, which is there's still a catapult around somewhere, and archers. So we're getting the cavalry involved. May as well make the most of the uh, banner of wrath. And there's a there's a beautiful uh, stream of we're on fire. Uh, so yeah, the, the the catapult gets a wonderful hit there. Uh, what I would do instead, I panic a little bit and I think about ending this melee as quickly as possible. I'd continue to march the cavalry units upwards and uh, actually just take the fight to the catapult at this point. So you can see we've got. We've got six great swords left. They were absolutely destroying the fight, and then suddenly they're down to six. It's such a good siege weapon, and I'm pretty sure it, the fact that they were holding the banner is the only reason they did not run away there. Any other unit would run away after taking that much damage. I sir. So playing like the coward I am, I run everyone away instead of just charging forward. You can be aggressive at this point, and you can make the forward charge. I just choose not to. I was in one of those situations where I was being forced to replay this level, and additionally, I just watched that huge hit, and I was like, I, I, I don't want any of that. I don't, I don't want to participate in a world where almost ten men die to a single shot. That's that's, that's less than fun. Yes, Miller. So I decided to build a pretty formation instead, and it's very pretty. I think you'll agree. Except for Except everyone's facing the wrong direction. Forward. Forward. So really, at this Forward. point, as I as I've already said, you you can charge. You can take you can take the fight. This is. Forward. There's nothing left that's dangerous on the field Attack. at this point. I'm Engage. trying to be so careful with casualties that I that in fact I just drag this mission out a touch too long. Sighted. To arms. Attack. Engage. Engage. I sir. Hold fire. Charge. I sir. Yes, Miller. Charge. So. Trying to trying to get the horsemen unstuck involves just charging them out of that corner. I'd managed to wedge them good and proper there. They didn't even want to turn around all that much. Let's go. Forward. Yes, Miller. So I've got my eyes on one thing and yes, one thing only, and that's the catapult. And I want that catapult dead as quickly as possible. We've got some currently invisible archers. We're waiting for the line of sight to work with us there. So this game does actually have a concept of high ground, low ground that has modifiers like vision and stuff like that. It's a very interesting and very well made game for the time that it came out. I was very impressed with the quality of this game. And I think you'll agree with me, it still holds up as a, a as an interesting game to play. I have no idea why there's never a melee sound when the um, artillery units get into melee. It's just silence. You'd, you'd imagine at least the men attacking them are, are, are doing their battle cry. No, they're just completely silent. Engage. Like mime combat. Charge. Oh, someone died. So we've taken a few casualties to the uh, ranged attacks. I don't think that's a particular surprise here, but uh, everyone's going to get a little bit of experience. The cavalry are going to get too much experience once again as we just close out this mission. There's really not much to add. This mission is really straightforward. Deploy in a simple sort of uh, 
semi-circle formation and use your cavalry speed combined with the shield of Tolos to trigger the spawns and pull them into a very confident firing line supported by your infantry. And that said, this will be the mission closing out and I'll leave you to it. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that mission, and I already know that some of you are going to be thinking about what a reserved coward I was in the middle of it. And you're right, but um, I like to keep my men alive. It gives us gold to play with, and uh, means you can take a uh, bad mission on the chin and sort of carry on playing, because this game is uh, has a resource that you need to manage, and it's a very finite resource. You can very quickly take one or two battles with heavy casualties and then actually find yourself unable to uh, clear out the end. So with that said, as always, like, leave a comment, share the video, subscribe, and let me know what you'd like to see me do in future videos. I really enjoy interacting with you all. Bye for now.